guy I'm hooking up the battery to get it John running. Woods is putting up the finishing touches on his modified lawnmower. After installing the battery, he's all set for the second annual lawnmower derby in Clayton. It's something that I love. It's been in my blood. I've used to race out at Scotty's years ago, and now I'm getting into this. And it's it's easy, it's fun, and it's cheap. While showing off what his $300 modded lawnmower can do, Woods had a little trouble entering in the first turn. Turn too sharp. I've got this thing running too quick. Nonetheless, he said he will be ready to go come Derby Day. I've played with that thing in the yard dozens of times. It's just never happened until now. This is the only thing that we have in the uh, Adams County area. Nobody else is doing it. Jeff Bacham created the Derby a few years back and says anyone can participate. He says all you need to do is put a little steel around your lawnmower for safety and install a kill switch and fuel line cutoff, among other rules, for driver protection. This is exactly like a demolition derby. I put seven or eight lawnmowers out on a track. They line up from across from each other and they and they hit each other just like you would in a demolition derby. Last year, the derby saw eight drivers compete for the $100 grand prize. Bacham says he hopes to see more drivers come out to the derby this year. The more lawnmowers we get, the, the better it'll be. It's a it's a fun fun action sport and it's really safe. I love it. I love tinkering with motors and this is just something that I can do.